as Nigerians decry the biting economic situation in the country. Federal government promises to double government's revenue without imposing extra tax. Following the trend of attempts at Guinness World Record, we will be looking at the physical toll of breaking a world record on the human body this morning on the show. And of course, we'll be lifting some headlines off the press as we look at the headlines on some of our national dailies. A very good morning to you and thanks for joining us on uh, The Breakfast. My name is Nyam Gul Agaji. Today, uh, we are going to be uh, looking at so many very important uh, topics of discussion but we'd like you to remember uh, the theme of discussion this morning will be uh, will be ha we'll have as our team or we have as our team that we can't all follow the same path we can't all follow the same path that's what will be uh, at the back of our minds today as we are talking uh, to you this morning trends have a way of uh, sweeping everyone into behaving in the same way and for instance when a new app takes over our interests we can't wait to be among the first to sign up and we have to remember also that conforming to how others think limits creativity so you have to think for yourself sometimes they say think outside the box and some people say you shouldn't even consider a box being around just think think. Everyone wants to jump on the latest trend like trying to break a world record. And let me just state this. Do you know that Nigeria, uh, we have at least 41 people that have broken world records or have set world records before, including our very own uh, uh, fella, uh, Nikola Kuti. Do you know that Stephen Keshi also broke a world record, being the youngest uh, player uh, to win the African Cup of Nations? As a player and as a coach, some of these people didn't even uh, attempt to break the record, but they broke it anyway. They were just doing their thing and they got recognized because they did it exceptionally well. So at least 41 people have broken or set records in Nigeria. But I don't know why <laughs> it's the sudden craze yeah, after uh, Hilda Bassi uh, broke her own world record. Everybody wants to cook. Everybody wants to even cry. Everybody wants to do one thing or the other. Well, um, just that just takes us to the trending topics for this morning. Uh, some of these topics that uh, we'll be talking about. Uh, a topic like, for instance, Lagos, uh, Lagos runway light stolen and seven people have been suspended. Lagos runway light stolen, and seven people have been suspended. Yeah, unknown persons have allegedly cut it away the recently reinstalled uh, airfield light system at the domestic runway 1836L of Martala Mohammed Airport. The disappearance of the approach lighting system have now raised security concerns in Nigeria's busiest airport. The perpetrators of the theft of the lighting system apparently took advantage of the closure of the runway for over three months. Some heads of relevant departments at uh, FAN have been suspended over the missing lighting equipment on the directive of the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Aviation. Dr. Emmanuel Mary Bolle uh, is one of them. Investigations have since commenced and regular incursions and theft of safety Components at the airports are carried out by a syndicate allegedly consisting of some workers of the agencies who have access to the restricted areas and accomplices from outside. So the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria FAN, Managing Director Mr. Kabir Yusuf, has also ordered the suspension of security personnel who were in charge of guarding critical airport uh, facilities. We also heard very disturbing news from a Bonyi, uh, from, not from a Bonyi state, from uh, uh, the, the second Niger Bridge in Onicha, that uh, some people are already stealing some, some, uh, some iron binders and so many other things that hold the bridge together. 
just a few days after commissioning of that bridge that everybody was applauding the government because it will ease traffic in, on that road and a lot of other things will, will go smoothly because of that bridge. Nigerians, because I'm not, I'm not seeing another person coming from another country to do that, Nigerians themselves are stealing some of the things that will make the bridge to stand the test of time, which means maybe in the next three years, the, the bridge could be uh, rendered useless because of uh, vandals. We've seen uh, cases where people steal some of these things on the rail lines, and they don't care if uh, trains come there, they derail, they, they, the accident claims maybe 100 lives, they don't even care. So long as they're making the money, and you say it's because the country is hard. How hard can it be for you to just wish death on hundreds and hundreds of people? To wish that people cannot commute anymore uh, on what the government has provided. And every day we rise up and say the government is doing nothing. Yet when the government does something, we are the ones that just go ahead. And, and in fact, sometimes <laughs> witchcraft does not wait till night before um, it is practiced. So if you're doing some of the things that are being done here in Nigeria, you could just be a witch as well. But you are not flying in the night. That's just the difference. Like they say, not all heroes wear capes. So not all witches fly. Why would you be stealing things from a place that you know it can cause accident and kill a lot of people? Why would you be stealing things from a place where you know that the livelihood of a lot of people depends on that? Why? Anyway, well, uh, we also had uh, the news that um, Governor Akere Dulu is um, hospitalized. He handed over power to uh, the um, deputy governor a few days ago and went on um, medical vacation, as it is. And a few days ago, he wrote again and extended that vacation for, uh, indefinitely because uh, he needs to get himself really healthy before coming back. And the chairman of APC, um, Abdullahi Adamu, uh, claimed that the governor, uh, Rotimia Akeridulu, he is, who is currently on indefinite medical leave abroad, is incapacitated. Senator Abdullahi uh, had disclosed on Monday, July 10, that the ailing governor of Ondo State, Rotimia Akeridulu, is not capable of carrying out his duties as a governor anymore. Adamu revealed this during a meeting between the national leadership of the party and APC state chairman in Abuja. Uh, it keeps happening that the APC chairman makes some comments that a lot of people say are not true or they are really uh, very disturbing. The meeting was held as after Akerdulu wrote to Ondo State House of Assembly to extend his medical leave abroad indefinitely, which is understandable if his health is failing him. Reactions to these, or reacting rather to these, Ondo State Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Babidele Ademola Olateju, stated that the APC National Chairman was quoted out of context. Okay? Uh, he said he had wished uh, Akeridulu well and said people should pray for him and all that. So why, if it was taken out of context, uh, there were people who were at the meeting who came out and also said, uh, refuted that and said that, okay, uh, whatever he said is not true. Akeridulu is still, in fact, that he still sent a post on the, uh, was it a WhatsApp group or the, the group, the executive group of uh, Ondo State. So. Wherever he is, he's even still working. I think that shouldn't be, because if you hand over power to your deputy, you should leave him the reins of leadership to do whatever he needs to do, and you relax. The whole thing about going on leave, whether medical or just a personal leave, is for you to relax. So let the person that you're handing over to do the work that you should have done if you were around. But this is it. There's that conflict. Adamu has said, uh, that he's incapacitated, even though they say he was quoted out of context. But I saw the quote uh, that he said, even though the only difference was that when this claim was refuted by the Ondo State leadership of the APC, they said he didn't say he was extremely incapacitated. That was the only word that I didn't see there. But everything else almost checked out. Now, 
we have seen uh, the APC chairman make some statements. We remember when it happened during the primaries of the APC. He brought a candidate and said that was the anointed candidate. It brought an uproar. We have also seen the APC when he was talking about the uh, National Assembly leadership. And he said that was just um, uh, a rumor. It, it wasn't anything to go by. Right now, the principal officers are still there. And everybody seemed to be fighting against him. That, okay, we support these people. And we don't know why you're saying what you're saying. The president was in the know. The governors were in the know. Uh, so many other chieftains of the APC were in the know. And you are the one who is saying this is a rumor. Well, today, the principal officers still stand. Nothing has been said by the APC, and that means Adamu was on his own. Now, he said the Ondo State Governor was incapacitated, and the Ondo State APC, the government of Ondo State, has said it is not true. Ondo State Governor is still uh, within his faculties. He's still very alert. He is not somebody that you can say is incapacitated because he's still contributing to the growth of Ondo State wherever he may be. So we really do not know why this always uh, comes from the APC national chairman. Uh, maybe uh, is there conflict within the party in the coming days? Maybe we'll have to find out why these things happen and why, if it keeps happening like that, there is nothing uh, being said by the NWC of the APC. Can the chairman not be sanctioned as well? If somebody else were making these statements, would it be the same thing? Well, we'll have to find out maybe one of these days if we have the opportunity to talk with an APC chieftain, maybe at the national level. But yeah, as our, our, our show continues right now. But uh, first of all, we are going to take a very, very short break. Uh, maybe there's something on the weather or not. But after that break, we'll go to the headlines on our national daily. Stay with us.